this is amazing. I can actually jump on the curbs now using my flight fin. Let's check this out. See that curb right there? I'm gonna jump on it. This thing is 25 pounds. It's not like a skateboard you can ollie. Use these flight fins. I can almost do it. Super rad, dude. Super rad, I love it. These things are so rad. I need to put the twist ties on. I know, I'm violating the law. So awesome, dude. Love it. Absolutely love these flight fins. They are awesome. Definitely get them. They bolt right to your fender and uh, they don't scrape the tire even though they look like they would. But yeah, man, that plus my Cobra really make a difference. Park Service added these boards on top of the creosote 4x4s, which is great, but now I have to go around them. I could hop over a few with my flight fins. Let me see if I can hop over this big one here. Almost. Uh, almost. I'll try again. Love it, man. I just need some more practice, but this is great. I love these things. You see, you have a sense of scale here. So here's my hand. In the past, I could just hop over this little board, but now <laughs> these big ones, I need the flight fins for it. So this one part of the bridge here, if you pass all these tree roots, you're rewarded by this like six inch gap. So I'm gonna see if I can start from here to make it on the bridge. You have to land on a decline, so we'll see. Oh, not even close. It's all right. I'll keep practicing. Try again. Whew. Good hop. Good pass on the roots. Oh, yeah, baby. Whew. That makes me so happy. I've been trying to clear that bridge just doing a normal ollie for months. Not successful. And then literally after two tries, I can do it on these flight fins every day is leg day you too will be amazing you too she gets a little weird if you start here the pressure pad so i usually start here and just move my feet in you know a little bit at a time once they're locked in what you can do is literally just do the hop the hop is once you get comfort comfortable if they're not super tight fins you just start from a mount and you just hop and you lock in place one thing I did notice that was fascinating though was when I go off of curbs, I usually keep my feet extremely wide. And when I bang the back of the curb coming down, I got a lot more balance. Flight fins, my feet were wrapped in. You can see here, they're a lot more closer. It just felt a lot harder to lever the board because like a normal lever, your power is in the length of the lever. And so since your feet are closer together, it's a little harder to quickly balance, even though you would think you have your feet have less distance to travel. This felt really hard. So it's definitely something I'm gonna have to practice to get used to. Either way, I highly recommend these things. They are super fun. Again, they're flight fins. You can get them from flightfins.com. Although I didn't talk much about it, my Cobra, it's that black thing on the back. It is a massive, massive piece of glue for your back foot. And because it's concave, your foot actually has a lot of room, both forward and backwards and side to side to really lock in. You can get the Cobra at craftandride.com. I took it out to test drive, jumping up and down curbs, seeing if I landed too far front, too far back. It was a lot of fun to know, even on my first night trying these things, go wherever I wanted, jumping up and down curbs, off curbs, whatever. 